Welcome to my tour of JDAS. I'll cover two things in here. One, how you can be effective with JDAS, the best uh, JSON command line viewer. There are a whole lot of different Kubernetes shortcuts here. I'll cover the ones that actually matter and how I use them. And two, how you can use JDAS with Kubernetes because JDAS doesn't support YAML files. I'll show you a quick workaround for that. Before I jump into it, two important notes that will help you understand this video. First of all, every single key I press on the keyboard will show up here in the bottom left corner of the screen. Second, um, you should be touch typing. If you're not, start doing it and learn how to touch type. My fingers are always here on J, K, and L for the right hand. And I'm going to be pressing the H key, which you can't see by peers here a lot. So that's just moving my finger over from here to here. And um, it, really, this video only makes sense if you're touch typing. And that's why you'll be effective. Okay, so let me jump over and let's get right into it. Of course, with Kubernetes, I can fetch any um, YAML file by just running kubectl get deployment. And let's just give the robust runner, the open source monitoring software for Kubernetes that I work on. Um, that will fetch me it. Whoops, I don't want that. That will fetch me it in a way that just shows me it to me like this in the terminal. And very often, what you're going to do here is you're going to press minus O YAML. This will get you in YAML. And then I have a big file here. It's a bit of a pain in the ass to go over. And there's a lot of crap in here too, like all of this. Um, all the stuff here for uh, fields v1, um, it's kind of spammy and you typically don't want to see. And all the managed fields crap. Um, okay, so now what I want to do is I want to use JDAS and I want to just be able to collapse all the stuff that I don't care about and very easily go over this file. So first thing is, I'm just not going to output it as YAML, I'm going to output it as JSON. And that will let me use JDAS and this will work for any Kubernetes resource. So all I have to do is just run kubectl get name of resource um, it, the type I mean, then the actual name of the resource, minus o JSON, that will give me anything as a JSON file. Let's put that in test.json, and we'll jump right into JDAS. Okay, so now JDAS test.json. Now, first and most important command is i. i collapses and expands. This actually doesn't appear in the documentation. They might change the keyboard shortcut for this in future versions, but in my opinion, it's the most important thing out there. Now, I can use the arrow keys to go up and down. Don't do that. Instead, you should be using j and k. J, just like in Veeam, goes down one line, K goes up one line, 10J will go down 10 lines, 10K will go up 10 lines, and so on. Um, it, these are all Veeam-inspired keyboard shortcuts, as are most things in uh, JDAS. And if I want to jump to the bottom of the file, I can press um, capital G. If I can go to the top of the file, that's uppercase G. And I can go up and down with J and K. So far, my fingers are all remaining on the middle line of the keyboard for both hands. Um, if I go over and I look at this image, my fingers are all over here and everything they've done so far is just moving around over here, except for I where my finger from here goes up one. Okay, now I can use I to toggle. The other way that you can do this is by pressing um, H. Um, H will either close something or if it's already closed, it'll jump you up to the next high level thing that you can close. So just doing that, now I'm going to press I to open it up again. So if I'm here and now I close this, that closes, press H again, that will jump me up to the next thing that I want to close. That's here, press H closes, jumps me up one more time to over here, that closes. The opposite of H is L. L will either expand, so if I press L, this will expand. Now if I press L again, then it will jump me down one row into the inner child. So press L again, now I'm over here, press L again, that expands, press L again, that takes me down one more. J and K go up and down as always regardless of where I'm at. Those, in my opinion, are the most important keyboard shortcuts. I'll just summarize this very, very quickly. Um, it, so it's J and K to go up and down. It's I to toggle. Press as many times as I want. It just opens and closes. H, on the other hand, um, will close. If I press it again, it bumps me up. Press it again, closes that. Press it again, bumps me up. Press it again, closes that, and so on. L, on the other hand, will um, either expand. So L now expands. If I press it again, bumps me down. Uh, press it again, doesn't do anything else. But it'll always bump me down into the next layer if there is one. Those are the most important JDAS commands. That's how I use JDAS personally. Great tool, I love it. The only problem with JDAS is that it doesn't support editing, which is why in my next video, I'll call it cover Veeam and Veeam tricks that you can use um, to edit YAML files for Kubernetes. Now, if you don't know, when I'm not creating these videos, I work full-time on an open source project called Robusta. Robusta is the best way to monitor your Kubernetes cluster. I think we're the only solution that doesn't just show you problems, but we show you fixes. 
you send us your existing Prometheus alerts, we sit on top, we analyze them with decision trees, we give you the bottom line. Um, everything is open source other than the user interface, um, which runs in our cloud and gives you one visibility, um, one single pane of glass, we can see everything that's going on in your cluster. I'll cover this more in future videos, um, but if you want to support these videos, please check it out, it really helps. Um, and please start us on GitHub. So thank you for listening. Let me know what I should cover in future videos.